In this video, I'm going to show you how to redirect a expired web page to another web page in Joomla. So, I previously had a web page on this development site that was forward slash shoes, and I've removed the page. So, I've now created a new page called 2019 Shoes, which is its sort of replacement, and I want to redirect the old page to the new page. So. Luckily Joomla has a feature built in for redirects that's really good. So if we log into the back end of Joomla by going to slash administrator, uh, and then you'll, you might have to log in at this point. I'm already logged in. And then if we go to components, redirects, uh, this is actually going to show you all of the places where people have gone to the wrong URL, basically. So just to flag up any potential places you might want to redirect. Um, so if we, but we, we know the one that we want to do. So if we click new, and then we've got the expired URL. So this is the old one that we want to redirect from. So if I grab this and I just put in here, so my old URL slash shoes. And then if I put in here, my new URL, and I can say enabled, click save, and why is it saying that? It's saying that because we actually don't need this beginning part. So we don't need the website, we just need whatever it was forward slash. So if we just put shoes in here and then click save, now it's going to allow us to do that. Um, and if we come into here, if we get rid of this and we just go to forward slash shoes. You'll see it now redirects us on to the 2019 shoes. And that's literally all there is to it. So, oh, one more thing I need to point out. So when I was writing this article out, I put this note in here because something I've completely forgot about um, is that on a website that you haven't been using the redirects plugin, you will get an error come up when you click on it that says this part here, the system, uh, sorry, the redirect system plugin is disabled. It needs to be enabled for this component to work. Um, you need to then so it basically just enable it so where it says redirect system plugin in the error here if you click on that it'll open up a pop-up box and you want to change the status on the right hand side to enabled and then click save and close and then you'll be able to do everything that we just done hopefully you found this video helpful if you did make sure to give it a like and I'll see you in the next video